The handles, they're really easy to change. It's like five minutes. It doesn't take long at all. I'm not going to do a filing video because there's a million of them out there. Everybody does it their own way. Let's sit here and talk, I guess. Taking a little break from YouTube. I know I haven't put out lots of videos, mostly about this new snowmobile. We're pretty much done for the year for tree work, so it's relax, relaxing time. And if you're wondering why I've been not on YouTube very much, just I'm kind of done with the fake people. People portraying themselves, something they're not. Not getting caught up in all that garbage. I don't know if I'm going to post this video. Like I said before, I won't uh, I won't do how-to videos. Not into that. I'm not gonna tell somebody how to cut down a tree. Not into that. I'm not gonna teach people how to do tree work. I'm not into that. Number one, there's people way better out there than me at all that stuff. I'm not the best in the world. Number two, somebody does something that I tell them to and they fucking get hurt or die. I don't need that on my conscience. Don't need that weight on my shoulders. But if somebody's doing something and they're gonna get hurt, wreck property, or fucking die, I'll tell them. Be original, be yourself too. Stop trying to be somebody you're not. Stop trying to fucking imitate people. Stop using people. There's a lot of people out there that are really kind-hearted. Some days I feel like they get taken advantage of. Whether you're making an axe or 
making a knife for somebody or just randomly sending them money or whatever. People are taking advantage of that. That shit pisses me off. I've had a few people ask too, how come I don't use the grinder much anymore? Well, to be honest, round filing stays sharper longer. Yeah, square gut grinding's a lot faster in the cut. I've proven that done videos about it but the durability isn't the same and uh, start square filing in the field that's a waste of time and if you want to have three or four extra chains with you on a job that's a waste of time too Just like everybody else, making a living with their chainsaws. And the last time I have to file and change chains on the job, the faster it goes. And don't get me wrong, you hit a fucking rock or a nail or or bolt or whatever in a tree, your chain's fucked no matter what. Cut trees with dirty bark, the chain will stay sharper longer. all this gimmicky shit that <clears throat> all these guys that are professional on YouTube what they're doing it don't work well the majority of it don't work watch six videos and all of a sudden you're a fucking professional at everything you do Oh, people are going to say, oh, you got a bad attitude. Oh, 
it's not a whether it's a bad attitude or a good attitude. It's fucking reality. Okay, I'll give you guys a little hint here. A little bit of help. If your cutters are getting sap not burnt on the top of them, it's the first sign of being dull. See that one's sharp? You can tell that one's dull. A sharp tooth will be clean on top. Okay, real sharp now. I didn't hit record. So I'm just looking, checking the raker height. Well, mine are around 40 thousandths, except for the top handles when I'm in the tree. Those are at 35. And 40 thousandths works awesome in softwood. And it works really good in hardwood. And if you're one of those guys that has a 50cc saw and you're running a 28 or 32 inch bar on it, because that's the fucking dumb thing to do. That's why you're running 20 thousandths on your acres. Have a saw for the job. Not try and make some piece of shit that's 40 years old. Do something that was never meant to do even when it was new. There, she's done. Hope everyone has an awesome day. Don't really care if you give the video a thumbs up or not doesn't matter to me i don't do this trying to be cool don't do it to try and make a living off of it started doing this for my kids and wife so later